Hello everyone. In the current day scenario when the world is going through difficult times, we know that when we go back to dentistry and when life becomes normal, we will not be doing the same procedures in the same way anymore. One of our biggest concerns in dentistry will be aerosol contamination. Almost every second procedure done in dentistry requires the use of compressed air and water to complete the procedure. In the dental operatory, 90% of the aerosol droplets which remain suspended in air are the small particles and they remain even after the procedure is complete and they evaporate leaving behind residual nuclei of microorganisms as well as blood. This becomes a source of infection to the operator, to the assistant staff as well as to the patients. We will have to not only use personal protective equipment, but we will also have to consider procedures which will not require the production of aerosols. Caries being one of the most common reasons why a patient visits our clinic, in open cavitated lesions, we can consider removal of caries using alternate methods of caries removal. One among them being using chemomechanical caries removal agents. This video demonstrates how we can effectively remove caries in carious lesions without having to use aerosol based procedures that is the traditional drills. Do have a look. This method of caries removal is thoroughly researched and practiced especially in periodontics in uh, patients who require special attention. For the purpose of demonstration, I have used an extracted tooth. The CMCR agent is applied with a blunt instrument. Here I have used the caries excavator. I am uniformly spreading the agent to come in contact with the caries. This is an open cavitated lesion as you can see is the indication for CMCR. Allow the agent to remain in contact with the DK for the time indicated by the manufacturers. The goal is for the CMCR agent to act on the infected dentine to soften the same and help in easy removal. A blunt spoon excavator is being used for removal of infected dentine which comes out atraumatically with minimal pressure. The dentine that is left behind is the healthy affected dentine which contains minimal microorganisms to nothing. We can then go ahead with pulp protection followed by the necessary restorative procedure. Removal of infected dentine is performed starting with the periphery and then moving towards the pulp. There is still no better criterion to define caries excavation limit than the normal hardness feeling of sound dentine when probed with an explorer. That marks the end of caries excavation.